Would you believe it if someone said a video of Sam stealing something was entirely created by Sora? Mind-blowing, right? But it was indeed created by Sora, and it's not original. Also, what's fascinating is that the new Sora 2 can now generate 30 to 60 second clips, nearly three times longer than the older version. While keeping video and audio perfectly in sync, it blends high quality visuals with matching voices, background sounds, and subtle effects all at once. A big leap in how AI handles both sound and motion together. What is Sora 2? Sora 2 is a new artificial intelligence system created to generate both video and audio at the same time. Instead of needing one tool for video and another tool for sound, Sora 2 handles both together in a single process. That means clips come out with voices, background sounds, music, and movement, all synced correctly. No more mismatch where lips move but the sound comes late. Have you ever seen a video where the lips don't match the words? Super distracting, right? That's exactly what Sora 2 is trying to solve. Why is Sora 2 different from older models? The first Sora was good, but it had some limits. The clips were shorter, only about 20 seconds. Movements often looked unrealistic, and audio usually had to be added separately. These gaps made it harder for creators to use it for serious content since the output often needed extra editing work. Sora 2 pushes past those limits in a big way. Now clips can be 30 to 60 seconds long, rendered in HD quality up to 1080p, and overall much smoother. Textures look sharper, details stay consistent, and the problem of flickering frames is reduced, which makes the final video more natural and reliable. One of the most exciting updates is how real movements look. Older AI models often had strange issues, like objects suddenly teleporting from one spot to another, or people moving in stiff, unnatural ways. This made the results feel less believable and limited their practical use. With Sora 2, motion feels closer to real life. It uses something called physics priors and temporal attention modules, which basically means the system pays attention to how things behave naturally, if someone does a backflip, the flip looks smooth and correct, and if a ball bounces, it follows gravity exactly as expected. Another big improvement is control over style. Creators can now select camera angles, shot types, and visual styles, whether it's a realistic film look or an anime aesthetic. This gives far more freedom to guide the AI towards specific results rather than relying only on guesswork. If a clip needs only a small adjustment, the model allows re-rendering of that specific part instead of regenerating the whole thing. This saves a lot of time and gives users more precision, making the creative process smoother and more reliable. Sora 2 also changes how audio works. Unlike older systems that added background noise separately, this model generates synchronized audio directly during the video creation process. That means dialogue lines up with lip movements, footsteps match perfectly with the scene, and ambient sounds blend naturally. This level of synchronization is a huge step for storytelling. For example, when a character is walking on gravel, the lips, voice, and crunching sounds all stay aligned. It creates a more immersive and professional result, which is why many people see Sora 2 as a real game changer. Another highlight is the cameo feature, which allows users who give consent to insert their own voice and appearance into generated videos. The system even uses liveness checks to confirm that the input comes from a real person and not stolen data. All Cameo results come with watermarks, and users can revoke permission whenever they choose. This is important because AI likenesses can easily be misused. By building control and rights management into the process, Sora 2 ensures that people remain in charge of how their identity is represented. Every video created with Sora 2 comes with a moving watermark and hidden cryptographic metadata. These layers make it possible to confirm whether a piece of content was generated by the AI, which is especially important in today's world of deepfakes and misinformation. This approach directly addresses one of the biggest concerns people have about AI. How do we know what's real and what's AI made? By including proof of origin from the start, Sora 2 sets a new standard for safety and accountability. At its core, the process begins with noise, basically a fuzzy image with no structure. 
Step by step, the model cleans up this noise into shapes, then objects, and finally into a fully detailed scene that looks natural. The system relies on transformers to guide attention, while physics and temporal modules keep movement smooth across frames. Meanwhile, an audio system generates sounds that stay synchronized. All of this happens in a single generation pass, so video and audio are created together instead of being stitched separately. Where can people use Sora 2? Sora 2 is being released gradually with different platforms offering access. There's an iOS app which is invite-only for now in the US and Canada, giving early access to certain users. Alongside that, there's also a web version available through Sora.com, offering both free and paid plans, and an API is planned for the future. That will let developers integrate Sora 2 directly into editing tools and other applications. The potential applications are wide-ranging. Social media creators can generate clips quickly, marketers can test new ad ideas, and musicians can create music videos without needing full production setups. Beyond entertainment, teachers can build educational explainers, while animation fans can generate anime-style shorts with custom characters. Since Sora 2 supports multiple languages with synced audio and subtitles, it also improves accessibility and global storytelling. Despite all the progress, important ethical issues remain. Questions around copyright are still unsettled. Who really owns AI-generated content? Deepfake misuse is another major concern, as convincing fakes could be used in harmful ways. There's also the issue of monetization. If AI can create content so quickly, how do human creators continue to earn fairly? Sora 2's watermarking and metadata provide part of the answer, but regulations and guidelines will continue to evolve as the technology spreads. Looking ahead, Sora 2 is expected to expand globally, moving beyond just the US and Canada. Wider API access will let third-party apps and tools integrate it, and better verification tools will help confirm which clips are AI-made. Future plans also include integration with editing software, making it easier to combine AI content with traditional footage. Some experts even describe Sora 2 as the GPT 3.5 moment for video, meaning it represents a major turning point but not the final destination for this technology. Sora 2 is shaping up to be one of the most powerful tools in AI video and audio generation so far. Longer clips, smoother motion, synced audio, and strong safety features make it stand out. For creators, it can mean less time spent editing and more focus on ideas. For viewers, it means higher quality AI content that feels more natural. But with all this power comes responsibility. Questions of ethics, consent, and copyright will continue to grow. So here's one last question. Do you think AI models like Sora 2 will be mainly a tool for creators or could they replace traditional filmmaking in the future? Drop your thoughts in the comments. This is one debate that's only just getting started. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.